Hi, I'm Vic. You can usually find me blogging at glowstyles.net or designing other people's nails, courtesy of the polishbottle.co.uk. Today I'm here to show you a tutorial on spiderweb nail de art design using regular polish and a few tools. Let's get started. Right, we're going to start with a base colour on the nails. I've currently got some gelish on, that's a long wear manicure using gel polish. I've got Night Shimmer with Waterfield laid right over it. Big believer in using what you've already got, so we're going to start with that as our base coat. You can use any colour, I think the lighter colours work best. If you're going to be um, doing nail extensions, um, you could do this on just the clear extension, or if you're using your natural nails, you can do it on the clear nails then. Um, otherwise, light colours, little shimmers okay, I wouldn't go overly glittery, although, you know, these things can work. So, I'm going to take Orly's Flicker, and what we're going to do is just stripe that across one corner of the tip. You want to make sure your brush is pretty much removed of polish, because you don't want it dripping anywhere. And you just stripe it down. Now this has come on quite sheer, so we're going to go back and do another coat in a second. Right, so now we've got two coats of Orly's Flicker on the corner of the nail. It's time to do the next corner. I'm going to use Mobile's own Black Magic. And you basically follow the same idea very little polish on your brush because you don't want to end up sloshing it everywhere you might find it easier if you've got a black striping pen to use that instead my black is horrible and thick and has about half a bottle of thinner in it at the moment and it is on its last legs and you just want to cover that up don't worry as you go with smudges and the like on your fingers because you can clean those up properly later on. Next up we're going to paint on our spider webs. I'm using Barry M silver foil. Now I'm going to use a 5 slash 0 pure sable, um, well I say it's a nail art brush. I actually found this in an acrylic model store, you know like um, basically where all the airship model geeks go for their painting supplies. I've not found something as thin as this to paint with nails and market it as a nail brush. It only cost me a couple of quid and it was a fabulous investment because I've got quite a heavy hand and if you press too hard with your nail art brush then you end up popping polish everywhere you don't want to and the line's too thick. So what we're going to do is start from the corner where the colours meet and just stripe on our spider web. It's very much freehand nail art, however you feel is worth doing it. You will find if you're using a really thin brush like this that it doesn't hold much paint on it, um, especially if you end up pressing down. So you will constantly need to be dipping back into your polish. If I just give, show you how I'm doing this, I literally just swipe both sides of my little brush down the polish. So we're doing the inside of the spider web first. And we're going to do three little bits. The only trouble with painting this over Night Shimmer I've found is that it's also quite a silver based colour. So it, the spider web doesn't show up that well. On the other hand, by the time we get out to the Night Shimmer, we're already looking at putting our spider on there. So it's not the end of the world. Once we've done the middle bits, 
we're just going to stripe that silver through bring it down from the cuticle area it doesn't have to hit right at the very end because it's not going to notice and then just striping it down into that middle bit once we've done that we're going to clean up our brush uh, normally I'd use isopropyl alcohol but I've run out and haven't had a chance to get any more so I'm using surgical spirit even though it's not what I necessarily use for nail art brushes it's a lot kinder than acetone so acetone dries your brushes out and will generally make a mess of them next we're going to take our black polish again and we're going to grab a dotting tool these things are a nail artist's lifesaver you can use them for anything we could probably even have used them for painting on our spider webs um, this one came in a set of five from ebay and it cost about a pound so definitely a bargain item um, for our spider we're going to start with the thicker end of this one bring out our black polish again um, pretty, I, I work on pretty much the same way as I do with the art brushes. I'm going to slick it on and then we're just going to draw a good old kind of circle-ish, ovalish type shape. You go with whatever you feel is right. Once that's done, we can clean that off again. And then we're going to bring our nail art brush back. Now it's time for the legs. Very thinly, because there's not much room for legs on here, we're just going to paint on one, two, three, four. As you can see, I'm making a right mess of this. And again, one, two, three, four. If you've got a striping and dotting pen, you might find that easier. Otherwise, if you've got acrylic paints, it's even easier than black polish. Um, I'd use quite thick acrylic paint, but water it down for thinner lines, just like you would if you were lining out lines on an acrylic art for your nails. So we're nearly done now, I'm going to bring in another polish, this is clean colour metallic red and I'm going to bring in my dotting tool out again, this time we're going to go for the smaller end, we're just going to swipe on a little bit of polish and very lightly so the dots don't get too big, we're just going to put on our two eyes. Now, finally because this isn't the easiest of nail art to do without making a right mess because of the angles of the brushes and when you're applying the bottom bits of polish finally we want to do some clean up i've got gosh professional art brush this is an eyeliner brush basically any small thin brush will do although i know a lot of people do use large acrylic brushes um, you can dip this in acetone or polish remover. I personally like this little baby, C&D Nail Fresh. It's traditionally a temporary nail dehydrator, but um, it works excellently for cleaning up those nasty little polish mistakes. I'm only halfway through this bottle and I've had it for months, so it's well worth the £10 spend online that you'd have to spend to get this. So you just dip your brush in and take it around the edges just to kind of the cuticle area underneath the free edge of your nail where you might have messed up a little and you just literally rub it in and see those messes disappear so there you have it this is our finished nail art cute little spiders well I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it's given you some ideas for your own Halloween nail art Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out glowstars.net and thepolishbottle.co.uk for your daily nail fix.